folks, my next guest tonight is a stand-up comedian making her network television debut. Please welcome Leah Bonema. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. This is so great. I'm having such an exciting week. I went to the gym. I didn't stay, but I walked in. <laughs> when I was at the gym, I was wearing a Steelers jersey. A man walked up to me, pointed at my shirt, and he goes, Steelers, did you know that's a football team? <laughs> I was so taken back, I thought I missed the question. I was like, I'm sorry, did you just ask me if I understand my own clothes? <laughs> right, but that's when it hit me. I was like, oh. Women need to kill more people. <laughs> yeah. Word would spread and people would be like, oh shoot, did you hear that chicks are killing people now? Maybe we should keep our opinions to ourselves. <laughs> you. you agree, you agree. <laughs> we could just pay them the same. It doesn't seem worth it anymore. You know what, why don't we let them have their birth control? <laughs> Restricting women's access to birth control blows my mind for many reasons. One of the reasons being we don't have a hormonal birth control equivalent for men, right? We tried to get one on the market. It was 96% effective and it was being given to a closed study of men because you just can't give men birth control and be like, get out there. <laughs> right, we had to watch them. <laughs> right? <laughs> You know, you know, guys. <laughs> so we had to keep them in a corral. And then men started abandoning the study because they didn't like the side effects. Right? I don't want men to have bad side effects, but I don't want women to have bad side effects either. Right? Side effects for women on birth control include heart attack, stroke, death. <gasps> Tough day. <laughs> side effects for men on birth control were mood swings. When I read that, my eyes bled. <laughs> this is a quote from the study. One guy said, look, I just don't want to feel sad for no reason. <laughs> and the pharmaceutical company was like, shut it down, James is sad. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're angry. <laughs> I got an IUD. Right, it's birth control, interuterine device. Looks like a little antenna. It's also a free Wi-Fi hotspot. <laughs> when I got it, I told my boyfriend that I had to count towards our coupled shared responsibilities. Right, like if you count everything a couple does together, cooking, cleaning, you gotta throw birth control in there and then you divide it up evenly. So I'm on birth control and then he does everything else. <laughs> Women are with me! I really love my boyfriend. I've been with him 11 years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, that's 11 years in New York. 11 New York City years is like 975 regular human years. <laughs> our bed touches three out of the four walls in our bedroom. <laughs> it's tight. I think we're a great couple because we're complementary damaged. Right, like everybody's a little messed up, so you gotta find somebody who's messed up in an opposite way as you, and then you have nothing to fight about. Right, for example, my boyfriend is a very bad detail listener. I don't care, it's not a thing that bothers me. But like, he has no idea where I am right now. <laughs> Right, for sure. We discussed it, we were so excited. I was like, do I call my AR? I saw the words go into his face. <laughs> but I guarantee when I get home later, he's gonna look at me and be like, babe, where you been? <laughs> and you wanna say, where do the words go? <laughs> right, but he's not doing it on purpose. There's no point in making him feel bad. So I'm just gonna tell him again and we'll get excited twice. <laughs> You guys, thank you so much. I'm Leah Bonema.
Her podcast is called Were You Raised by Wolves and is available on iTunes. Leah Bonham, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>